Here are three video animations portraying the inner workings of some of the simpler voltage tripler designs. This cascade tripler is a schematic commonly seen. Here it's laid out differently than we usually see it. The circuit has been drawn to emphasize the three Villard cells from which it is constructed. A Villard cell is a diode and capacitor in series. It looks like a half-wave power supply. However, the stage that follows is connected across the diode rather than the capacitor. We can see two charge pump capacitors operating here. This means it's charging during one half of the power cycle. Then it adds its charge to current flow in the other half of the power cycle. This effect can then be used to apply twice the voltage to another capacitor down the line. In this manner, each successive stage cascades the voltage upward. The actual voltage at the load depends on how much current it draws. With the light load, it might be as much as four times the nominal supply voltage. This is another schematic commonly seen. It consists of two different parts. At the left of the load is a Villard doubler. At the right is a half-wave supply, configured to provide a negative node. The load is bridged between the two nodes. The first capacitor at the left has charge pump action on it. The capacitor in the middle accumulates twice the supply voltage. The capacitor at the right develops a negative charge. The result is that the load receives three times the nominal supply voltage. In these particular video clips, the simulator turns the load green when it is receiving 30 volts. The diodes turn red when they are carrying greater than their rated current. This is not necessarily disastrous if the duty cycle is not too high. This design is easy to confuse with the Villard tripler. Its only difference is that the load and load capacitor are connected directly to a supply rail. Half wave means the load capacitor is charged during just one half of the power cycle, while parallel refers to the Villard formations being roughly in parallel across the supply rails. We can see how the Villard cells conduct during alternating halves of the power cycle. The first two capacitors at left are charge pump capacitors. The final capacitor accumulates the charge which drives the load. Each successive stage adds another multiple of the supply voltage to the next capacitor. The load is powered by the final capacitor, which needs to be rated accordingly.